guys what is up purple bandana here back with some minecraft today i got a cool redstone contraption for you that i built i built a couple redstone things on different maps but i don't really ever show them i finally built something that i wanted to show you guys so let's get into it so what this is is a level selector i could have done this with buttons or pressure plates or you know a bunch of different things but i wanted something that fit the style of the map that i'm making this for uh, which you might get a sneak peek in the future. You'll have to wait and see. So it has three different buttons, which is previous, next, and select. I'll quickly demonstrate the select. It's not really going to do anything. It only has one setting anyway. Teleport failed, no de destination selected. So I would have to select a destination. But to do that, I would need to select a destination or a level difficulty in this case. Um, so if I, you'll see by it changes its color. And it says at the bottom what difficulty it is. I can also go backwards as well, and if I go all the way back to the beginning, it will go back to the white, which means nothing selected. If I try to go past that, I can't because it needs to have a level one score. And if you see on the side, it won't go down to zero or below that because it's always being set back to one, so it works properly. So then if I just go through and run through all of them, you can see what each difficulty is and all the colors corresponding to it. Kind of just try to do a uh, rather pleasing spectrum and gets all the way up. So you see it says difficulty level 9 and it's already on 10. That's because uh, the, it doesn't start uh, at, it starts at 1 and that's basically the 0. But then if I go one more past and set it to 11, it tests and sets back to 1. So now let's look a little bit more at the redstone part of this. It has a basic hopper clock with a transfer cooldown of zero on both of these. This little part here is testing for the player that's on the white quartz block right here. And this right here is just playing the random dot orb. And this will add a scoreboard uh, point and this will remove a scoreboard point. Over here is the the <coughs> the uh, sorry guys, this is the selector, like when you finally get a map that you want. This tests for if the player is on the middle uh, chiseled stone block looking straight down. And this is a play sound portal trigger to get that warping effect. This tests for anybody that's in the spot and it kind of just repeats the bottom one all the way down to right here. So it tests a bunch of times so if players get off it, it won't actually test it for them. And this one over here is gives the uh, the player the nausea effect. See, also giving a warping effect. This right now says teleportation, no destination selected. This will set block a redstone block right here, so it can't be powered right away. Uh, set block. This removes it after a little bit, and this TPs the player one block backwards, so it does not continue to trigger. And this this right here will clone everything right here. To here so it gets rid of any uh, power it already has in the system because if I didn't have that it would all lock up and it doesn't work well so I will stand here in F5 to see if I can give you a better view of it well, let me center it there we go it's kind of hard to tell but you can kind of see that it's all going through like that and then it goes back through and then you got it all back so now get rid of Nazar let's go back in F and uh, first person so this over here, as you might have guessed at this point, is the selector. This just makes sure that everybody's score is at least one. If it goes down to zero, it'll be set back up to it. This tests for anybody that has a score of one, and that will uh, do the clear uh, blank one. And it's just going to clone this whole section right there. This one is going to say no map selected when it's, and this is what's over there. And how that gets over there is by this clone. So this will just clone this and put it right here down at the end and that's what clones oh wait no 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 no. this one it gets cloned there and that's what gets a the message displayed that the reason i'm doing this is because it would say uh teleporting two for each one or it would give you a different teleport uh coordinates so like level one might be a thousand sixteen five that would be the coordinates but the next one might be three hundred fifty six five 10 or something like that so it allows me to get a different uh, coordinates for each teleport 
so that's about it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I know it wasn't the most fluent of speech for a Redstone video, but it's a little harder to do when you're trying to explain something that you don't always know how it works. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.